I'm CJ from Pure Full Air Dog. Uh, today we're going to go through some tips and tricks uh, if you are ever experiencing any issues with your Air Dog products. Um, you know, just a couple small things you can check before possibly shooting us a phone call or if we are out of the office for any reason. Uh, we are in the office from 8 a.m. to 4.15 Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Uh, so always feel free to call us, you know, for customer support. Uh, but just in the rare circumstance that we are not in the office, just a couple things to check. While we are known to have some of the quietest fuel systems on the market, um, one of the things you may notice at times is maybe my pump's getting a little louder, doesn't quite sound like it used to. Uh, we can walk you through a couple things that could be causing that. Uh, one big thing that we do stress is that you do service the filters regularly, um, every 15 to 20,000 miles or a year, whichever comes first. Um, any restriction in these filters can cause you know, a tone change in the unit. Um, one thing that can also cause you know, a louder pump is an inlet restriction. Uh, one big thing on that, uh, is the water separator. We always recommend to change them at the same time as the fuel filter because this is a 30 micron pre-screen uh, and it is the first side of the pump. So a restriction in that filter will you know, cause premature damage to the pump as well as a louder unit. Um, another thing that can cause noise um, is a suction leak. So a suction leak is anywhere between the tank and the pump itself, uh, pulling air, creating air cavitation. Um, so you, know, you can check your quick connects, make sure they are properly sealed. Uh, things like that, as well as the O-rings on the gear rotor cover itself. Um, if those do become damaged, it can actually start pulling fuel, or I'm sorry, air directly around the gear rotor, causing that cavitation. Um, another thing, it's not as common, but you know, you can check your pressure. For some reason, if you know, maybe you cut an O-ring um, in the pressure regulator of the Air Dog 2, uh, it can cause a tone change, but it is not very common, uh, but it is something to check. Um, another thing is, you know, if you install the draw straw or not. So like with our original Air Dog 150, we do require a draw straw as it is a high flow return. Um, so we have to overcome that loss on the return side by pulling more fuel. So if you actually have it connected to the top of the factory sending unit, um, that can cause an inlet restriction, making the pump louder as well. Uh, so do always, you know, install the supplied parts with the kit, um, you know, to make sure, you know, running that system properly. Something else you may experience along the way uh, is a pressure fluctuation. We always do recommend to monitor your fuel pressure of your air dog unit. Uh, all air dog units do have an eighth inch MPT port already on them for you know fuel pressure monitoring. Um, if you are seeing you know odd pressure fluctuations, the first step is always verify the gauge with a manual gauge. Um, you know some electronic sending units you know do fail over time, um, or there is some gauge product lines that aren't necessarily the most reliable. Uh, everyone knows what I'm talking about, um, so we always do recommend to monitor that with a mechanical gauge for reference. Um, another thing is if you have actually verified that there is, you know, a pressure fluctuation, thing that can cause that, like we said earlier, you have to service those filters. If that 30 micron pre-screen, that water separator uh, is becoming plugged, it will cause an inlet restriction, will, which will cause a pressure fluctuation. Um, so, you know, always service those filters. Um, another thing is, I mean, it might not necessarily be the pump. It could be a truck related issue. Uh, so one of the big things, you know, you can do to check that um, is actually clamp the outlet line of the air dog unit itself with that manual gauge in the air dog unit um, and just power the pump. Do not start the vehicle. Verify that the pressure, you know, is steady uh, or at the correct pressure. If it is still fluctuating, it can be a pump issue, but if it does seem to be steady, uh, it could be upstream, you know, being like a fuel pressure regulator, fuel control actuator, uh, things like that actually causing issues on the return side of the injection system. Um, another big thing is like you P-pump guys, uh, if your overflow valve is worn out or having trouble, it can cause big pressure fluctuations. So do be aware of that. Um, another thing you can check um, is the Air Dog 2 regulator. Like we spoke earlier, there is an O-ring in that regulator. If it does become damaged or cut, uh, it will not you know, actuate properly. Um, so do verify you know, if you have, are having pressure fluctuations that that is not a reason. Um, another you know, thing it could be is on our air dog, original air dog style units. Behind this return fitting itself is gonna be a ball and spring style regulator. Um, verify that that ball itself has not pressed into that spring uh, or gave you any issues like that because that could also, you know, not necessarily smooth action, you know, pressure fluctuations that way. Something else you could experience along the way, um, just after servicing your air dog filters, maybe it's, you know, struggling to prime uh, or not necessarily picking up fuel like it should initially. Um, though air dog units are self-priming standardly, just you know, power the unit, let it run for a little bit, and it will actually pick up the fuel on its own. 
one thing you may have to do is actually crack this big fuel filter loose. Uh, just a couple turns uh, with the AirDog unit powered. Uh, wait a couple seconds, you will begin to see fuel coming out of the top of the fuel filter itself. So be ready to tighten that up uh, and that will actually bleed most of the air out of the AirDog unit itself. So just, just one thing to check. Um, another thing you may see is, you know, maybe the air dog unit doesn't seem to be turning on, things like that. Um, obviously, the first thing you're going to want to check is make sure you have voltage to this plug itself. Uh, if the pump is not getting voltage, it will not turn on. A few things that could cause issues in not getting voltage would be uh, a pop fuse. We do have a 20 amp fuse in line on all air dog units to protect the pump themselves. Um, also, there is a relay in line. So with a relay, it does require uh, some sort of trigger source, which would be a 12 volt signal, signaling the system to turn on. So verify that you are getting power, you know, in and out of the relay itself. Um, there is good how-to videos on YouTube on how to check a relay. Uh, we will be making a video for that as well. Uh, so do keep an eye out for that. Um, another thing is, you know, it does continually pop that fuse. You notice that fuse was popped. One thing that can cause that uh, is a jam gear rotor. Um, so we'll, you know, go through showing you how to service this gear rotor. If you have gone through all these steps and do, you know, still appear to be having some issues, you can always shoot us a phone call. Um, one thing we do ask is if you do call us, please have the serial number on hand. Um, it is going to be located on all AirDog products. On an actual filtered AirDog unit, it will run down the side of the filter base on a one inch by six inch silver tag, um, and it will actually be stamped into it, not embossed. It'll be a five to six digit number. Um, depending on what Raptor unit you have as well, it will always be mounted on the front of the unit next to the regulator. Um, same thing, it will be stamped into that. So always have that before you shoot us a phone call, just because that'll better help us, you know, figure out what you have, what application it's on, uh, check warranty status, things like that. Now do keep in mind, guys, uh, while we did make this video as a tool to help you guys, you know, tech your products, um, a lot of these issues are not super common, and you can always feel free to shoot us a phone call if you do have any concerns. Uh, we do take great pride in our tech support. Um, if you know anybody that's dealt with us, we're easy to deal with. Our goal is to get you up and going. It's never, you know, to complicate the process for you. Um, we always want you to have a good experience when contacting us. So always feel free if, with any questions, shoot us a phone call, or you can get on our website at pureflowairdog.com. Uh, we do have a message us section, uh, basically inquiry at pureflowairdog.com to shoot us an email if that is an easier format.